wine has been uh, in the shadows for many, many years. Uh, Greek wine has been sold mostly in the ethnic markets, um, um, in the ethnic markets of Germany, of Australia, of uh, Canada. Uh, however, in the last few years, we see really nice signs of um, Greek wine penetrating the non-ethnic market. Um, you know, the crisis has been terrible for Greece. However, I dare to say that it's been good for Greek wine. Uh, the reason for that I'm saying this is that you know, people have been looking for good Greek stories. Uh, being on the front page of every magazine, of every newspaper for many, many years, for all the wrong reasons, uh, people have been looking for good stories and wine is one of them. Greek winemakers have been uh, very uh, rebounded very quickly. Very quickly uh, um, uh, became very extrovert, uh, started traveling around the world. Uh, the wines have uh, increased in quality. Uh, the our prices are very much value for money prices. Absolutely, uh, we've been uh, looking into We've been finding new distributors. Um, you know, in the wine business, uh, the distribution is the key to success. So the last few years, we're finding new importers uh, throughout the world that have been uh, getting behind our wines. And little by little, we see uh, the Greek wine distribution increasing dramatically. Uh, we see uh, Greek wine in countries like Lithuania or Estonia or uh, Indonesia, you know. For, uh, we see Greek wine in, in all these different countries that was never before. For Greece to succeed in the export market, it has to bring something different uh, to the world wine scene. Uh, our indigenous varieties, the Greek varieties, are, are, are what, will what will make the difference. An acertico from Santorini, with its with its minerality and its really unique uh, taste, a xenomavro, and it, the intriguing xenomavro, with a nice tannins and structure, uh, a moscofilero, with with its beautiful aromatic uh, flavors, are all grape varieties that will add to the wine world, and we see more and more, especially the younger generation, uh, looking into different things. Acertico is spearheading. Uh, the Greek wine revolution. I really think that, uh, well, it makes all the sense in the world. Um, you know, uh, we have more than 30 million tourists in Greece, uh, and I think this number will grow. Uh, we have more and more quality tourism in Greece. Uh, we have more and more people who are looking for different things other than sun and sea and just having a good time. We see more and more people looking into uh, going into different non-touristic, non-traditional touristic areas in Greece and, and, and discovering a beautiful Greece. I think wine tourism, the wine country, visiting the wine country, as everywhere in the world, is, is one, of the play, uh, one of the big uh, uh, tools we have to make our, our um, tourist season longer uh, and also to, to bring more value to the tourist scene. So, um, you know, in Santorini, uh, yes, well, we have tourism already there, but people go for wine tourism as well, not just, not just for the, to look at the sunset and, and swim on the beautiful beaches. But we see this more and more in mountainous Greece as well. Um, we see more and more people looking into different uh, areas and exploring not just the wine, but the culture of, um, of, um, of mountainous Greece. Well, yes, Kiriani was established in 1987 uh, when my father left the big Butari business that his great-grandfather established in uh, 1879. Uh, we focus on the production of quality premium wines in the northwest of Greece, uh, focusing mostly in the production of Xinomavro, a local variety. 2017 was uh, a vital year for us. Uh, I think we're going to see a lot of things happening in the next few years. We have grown quite a lot. Now it's, uh, it's very important to decide strategically our next steps. Like in many markets, uh, generic promotion and generic advertising is one part of the equation. The other part of the equation is that you need strong players that will penetrate the market and actually spearhead um, and open up uh, new markets. Uh, Greece does not have one uh, serious national player. Uh, I think there's a lot of, uh, there's an opening there and I think uh, by 2018 Kiriani can play that role. Uh, we plan to grow uh, um, either by acquisitions or by partnerships in uh, other regions in Greece and actually fulfill the role of the national player of Greek wine. 
Well, uh, I'm a strong believer and our motto is innovation builds tradition. Um, uh, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, you really have to try to look into different things, new things, uh, marrying traditional uh, methods with, uh, with, with innovation and, and new technologies. This is something that we've been doing with Kiriani from our first day. It's very important for our culture to constantly question ourselves and question the quality of the wines to strive for better and better and better quality. Greek white wines uh, are definitely some of the best in the world. Uh, Greek, uh, Greek white wines have, uh, especially in the region between 10 and 20 euros, uh, really deserve a better place in the wine world. Um, However, I'm always saying that you know you make a good wine in the winery, but a great wine in the vineyard. The reason I'm saying this is that because to make a white wine, you can work with a lot of technology. We have that. With with red wines, you need a good vineyard. You need a, a special place uh, planted with a special variety, uh, worked by special people in order to make something different. We're in a very good process. Uh, I think in the next few years you're going to see fantastic Greek reds as well. Um, uh, uh, reds not just from our indigenous varieties but also from international varieties. Well, export has been a very important part of Kiryani business the last few years. Uh, the last five years we more than tripled our exports and uh, it looks like that we're going to double our exports uh, by 2020. Um, the reason for that is that we've been establishing some serious markets and serious relationships with distributors and importers and we are now ready to go to the next step. As is with most companies, uh, with most uh, uh, export-oriented wineries throughout the world, uh, but especially for, for, for Greece, uh, Germany is a huge market for us. Was actually, we haven't tackled yet. It's a big challenge. Uh, the United States of America, most probably the most important and the most precious market in the world right now, a market that's growing by 2-3% a year, huge market, um, is very important. Canada, especially uh, uh, the, the Quebec region, is very open to Greek wines. Uh, of course, the Western European markets like Belgium and Holland uh, um, are very important. The UK uh, is always a challenge. Uh, once Robert Mondavi said, if you can make it there, you make it everywhere. And of course, uh, in, in, in Asia, markets like um, Japan, uh, China, Hong Kong, Korea, are also growth markets for us. Well, Japan is a very, very sophisticated market. Uh, it's a very difficult market to tackle. The Japanese have very, very high expectations. They, they, they don't, they, they like to, to taste different things. However, they're very, very conservative in opening up. Um, uh, we're very lucky, we've been working in the Japan market, op opening up the Japanese market for the last three years and we're very lucky to say that uh, we have found a very good distributor right now there and we see step by step a lot of growth coming up from the Japanese market. Of course, uh, Greek wine represents only 1% of the total wine production um, of the world, but only 0.2% of the total exports. Imagine if these numbers coincided somehow. If we could, if you, if, if we could sell 1% of total exports, the Greek wine industry would uh, increase fivefold. Um, I really think that in the next few years we're going to see uh, Greek wine uh, positioning itself as a mid to up price wine and just by gaining distribution and gaining the market share it deserves, uh, the industry will more than triple. Well, uh, the Greek wine industry 20 years ago had more than uh, less than 100 wineries. Uh, five years ago there were 600, now we are more than 1,000. It means that there's a tremendous, tremendous potential there. However, uh, we need, one, to restructure our appellation laws. That's very, very important to make our life easier and actually make our wines much more marketable. Two, we have to make sure that we fight for our, for, for our rights, as I say, and try to get a few more um, acres in order to plant more vines. The biggest challenge we're facing right now is that we cannot plant more vineyards. 
Uh, this is something that we've been addressing at the European Union and we hope by next year we'll be able to have some extra acreage in order to plant. Well, I was saying that the Greek, Greek wines are, Greek uh, cheap wines are expensive and Greek expensive wines are cheap. What I'm trying to say is that it's very difficult for Greek wine to tackle the low end market and uh, we're underpricing ourselves in the high-end market. Um, Greek whites, uh, especially between 10 and 20 euros, uh, retail price, uh, fantastic values. Uh, wines that if they had the tag made in Italy or made in France, they would, uh, they would sell much more easier and at better prices. Still, we have to do a lot of work with Greek reds. Uh, I think we are, we're on the right track, but I think Greek reds from Aiorgitico from Nemea, a very soft, uh, beautiful uh, uh, tasting red wine. And um, from Xinomavro in North Greece, a grape variety with fantastic tannin structure and beautiful acidity, very much a la mode in these days, uh, are, are gonna do very well in the next few years. Uh, I'm very happy to say that uh, what I, where I see the growth for Greek wine and where it's gonna make a difference stepping up uh, the, the quality um, of, of Greek wine is, is the young guys who enter the market right now. These are either growers that have taken on the land from their fathers, usually they're educated and they are ready to go to the next step, or young kids who have studied enology or marketing uh, um, and, and, and are entering the wine business. Uh, I think these are the, I see a lot of potential in these guys, you know, on the one hand they have the, 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 the strength, they have the vision, they have, they want to do something different, something better for themselves. I really advise them to go out there and, and work hard, uh, be extrovert, uh, work together. For, for, for me, these are the three most important things that Greeks should do um, uh, at this point in order to succeed in the worldwide scene.